Well, we begin with this morning's top story. President Obama is strongly suggesting that Russian President Vladimir Putin was directly involved in the cyber attack that influenced the 2016 election. At a Friday news conference, Mr. Obama warned Russia that the U.S. would retaliate for the email hacking. Mr. Obama said he told Putin to, quote, cut it out when he confronted him at a September summit in Russia. President-elect Donald Trump has dismissed accusations that Russia played a role in the attacks. He made no mention of the hacking during his thank you tour stop last night in Florida. Errol Barnett is in our Washington bureau with the latest. Errol, good morning. Good morning. In his final press conference of the year, the president said Russians hacked into the Democratic National Committee and the Clinton campaign. The resulting embarrassing leaks, of course, as we know, aided Mr. Trump and Republicans. But earlier in the day, the president-elect seemed to walk back his stance that the Russians were not involved. Not much happens in Russia without Vladimir Putin. President Obama publicly vowed to strike back at Russia for interfering in the 2016 campaign and said he had warned Putin personally two months before the election. In early September when I saw President Putin in China, I felt that the most effective way to ensure that that didn't happen was to talk to him directly and tell them to cut it out. The president assured Americans that each and every vote cast was legitimate, but that Moscow's election tampering should concern everyone, and questioned how some Republicans could believe Putin's public denials rather than the conclusions of the U.S. intelligence community. Over a third of Republican voters approve of Vladimir Putin, the former head of the KGB. Ronald Reagan would roll over in his grave. Merry Christmas, everyone. Merry Christmas. Continuing his thank you tour last night, Donald Trump I'm avoided the topic of Russian one. hacking, though earlier in the day he acknowledged that the hack revealed damaging information about the Democratic National Committee. And Thursday wrote, if Russia or some other entity was hacking, why did the White House wait so long to act? Why did they only complain after Hillary lost? Wouldn't it be nice if we actually got along with Russia? Trump was criticized during the course of the campaign for cozying up to Russia. I've stood up to Russia. With Hillary Clinton suggesting he was Putin's preferred candidate. And they've also decided who they want to see become president of the United States, too, and it's not me. In a memo to CIA staff, Director John Brennan said he, FBI Director James Comey and Director of National Intelligence James Clapper were all on the same page about Russian interference and that the intent was in part to help Trump once he won the Republican nomination. But investigators say the cyber attacks were aimed at smearing Clinton from the start. Vladimir Putin himself directed the covert cyber attacks against our electoral system, against our democracy, apparently because he has a personal beef against me. Clinton speaking before a group of donors in Manhattan Thursday said the attacks were personal, but they affected all Americans. This is an attack against our country. We are well beyond normal political concerns here. This is about the integrity of our democracy and the security of our nation. Now, President Obama said he did not think Clinton was treated fairly during the election, and he cast some of the blame for that on the U.S. media, saying coverage of her and the issues was troubling. Anthony? Errol Barnett. Thanks, Errol.